do you win with the art? This artist tries to give the answer in his solo show in Lagos. Contemporary realism is contemporary art and hyper-realism. Fusion of books. Basics of contemporaryism, how to win with the art, is the issue contemporary artist Ken Nwadiobu is sharing with a handful of budding creatives at the Embaryono Creative Center in Lagos. People come in now to show me how real it works. Just pure how it work, no addition, no extra, right? So you see that it's a long time ago it started. So if it started a long time ago and we moved from the easing era, because there was an easing era, there was cubism, photorealism, habitualism, pompointillism, uh, you know, naturalism, impressionism, surrealism, plenty, minimalism, just, it was a lot. Right? Then Picasso came and says, Yo, why are these isms? Let me paint the eye and the mouth and take the mouth to the head. And then make the skin like this. And then he did it and put in the gallery. And imagine everybody seeing the isms the 26 year old is not just an artist he's an illustrator whose collages charcoal and pencil drawings bring ideas and emotions to life in a hyper realistic fashion I started art basically in school I was studying civil, I used um, I graduated as a civil engineer so I was studying civil engineering in Unilag and I saw someone drawing the Dean of Unilag at that time and I, you know, I was astonished, I was amazed, I was like, how did you do it? And the person was like, you know, I had to check Google. So I, the first thing I typed was how to draw a face to look like a face, right? And then I just started practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. And then I entered into the art world by, you know, but thank God I entered into the art world. But I entered into the art world and then I started creating art that, you know, meant so much to me and my background and as a Nigerian. And then from there, you know, I got to this point where you know, I'm starting up a movement and, you know, I'm creating works that are traveling around the world. He believes that art is as real as it gets. And that's why he's been pushing contemporaryism, which is a fusion of hyper-realism and contemporary art. Why is contemporary realism? It's because of the element of the collage, which is the newspaper and the word play. So it's not just basically drawings, it's, it has other elements to it. These works are nice, they are more than just works. Like when you look into it, you would want to know what is beyond it. Like these works are not just pictures, they're not just drawings. They have deep meanings, they have narratives. So I feel this artist, Ken, Ken Wanjobu, he goes further to bring in different deep meanings to his works. He don't just do works, he brings in problems like he makes you feel what he felt when he was doing the works I like what he's doing he's clearly he's clearly telling a story um, we need a lot of stories now consider, considering where we are from Africa the stories about us is all negative and people like him just add to to, the, to the, add their voice to the entire narrative and yeah it's, it's what we need really so he's doing well I like I like what he has evolved the contemporary realism which is contemporary art and realistic art. For instance, look at these two collage images exploring human consciousness and social political structures. These are things that my friends have gone through, these are things that I have gone through, these are things that people have gone through and I want people to, you know, to feel this form of empathy, to be in that position and question themselves and ask themselves, you know, what can we do to stop this or is this a good thing that's going on or look at the effect of knife crime in London, right, is it, is it, is it, is it good, is it, is it something I want to be part of or is it something I want to be an activist against. Right, you see um, some of my works, you have the police, police brutality, right? You question yourself and you have that empathy. You put yourself in the shoes and say, oh, I, I need to say something about that. I need to speak about that. So this kind of thing definitely is what my work is trying to show. He made us understand that it's not just about being able to draw. You also have to be able to ask questions and cause anybody that looks at your work to be able to ask question why. That's more or less um, causes the difference between a person walking past your work and actually stopping to understand what the conversation is about. Art is a safe haven devoid of boxes and boundaries. That's what this young artist tries to instill in his peers. 
Globally, he has been given many platforms and plaques to his credit. That's At House today, but we encourage you to keep talking to us on any of our social media platforms where you can view this or any other edition of At House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a great day.